Hey guys, Tom Zane here. Uh, this video is uh, basically a how-to video on how to install um, your memory chips, your memory modules. Um, this is actually a follow-up video um, to my unboxing of the uh, G-Skill Ripjaw. Um, these are the 2x2 two 4-gig two, uh, mo memory me modules that I got from Newegg for $59.99. These are PC1600 uh, DDR3s. So, uh, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you play games or anything, uh, or do a lot of um, video editing like I do, uh, go ahead and get one of these. Uh, you'll be very pleased with it. Um, I am so pleased um, that I not only have these two right here, but also these two. And I've been using them for uh, almost a year now. So, um, so anyways, without further ado, let me go ahead and get these opened up. Um, and these are very easy to open. You basically just pop them out. And uh, but one word of caution, though, um, before you touch anything in your computer, you you gotta you know let go of the static charges in your body. And I typically do that with just sort of, just any sort of um, uh, steel or anything that conducts it. So I, I put my hand on you know these uh, aluminum. Uh, plating and uh, sort of just let any static charges disappear. So uh, if you can see right here, let me try to zoom in. These two are the um, the previous ones I have, and uh, if you can sort of see the slots beside them, there's actually two of them, and uh, those are the memory slots that I am going to, to install. These are uh, new. These are actually identical, so uh, but these are the newly ones that I bought. So let me try to pop them out. And when you install these memory modules, you want to make sure you line up um, this um, opening right here with the opening on your memory slot. And um, if you look at it, um, one is longer than the other, so you want to match it, match that up with your um, memory slot. You don't want to, you know, just force it down because you'll end up jamming the wrong opening, and it'll damage your motherboard and your memory. Um, so mine, let me see here. It seems to be. I should be putting on like this. So, here we go. And you want to be really gentle. So I try to be as gentle as possible. Of course, there's a lot of cables in the way, but you know, you sort of just... You just sort of just, you know, get used to it. And you want to press it down until you hear that snap. All right, time for the second one. And I do have a lamp right up here sitting right up here, so I hope it doesn't cause the lamp to fall over. If it does, oh well, it's not going to hurt anything. I put the lamp there so it's better lighting. It's kind of hard to see without the uh, light there. And, you know, sometimes it's better to, you know, uh, manage your cables a little bit better. You know, make situations like this much easier. But um, other than that, cable management really has no use. Um, it probably gives you better airflow, but I'm not too worried about that. All right, so these are well in place, and this is my lamp right here. It's I bought it for a dollar at Walmart. So these are the four um, DDR3 PC1600. Um, modules. Each of them has two gigs, so four of them making it eight gigs. Um, I bought these two um, 2x2 
modules for uh, $59 on Newegg. Um, but I actually found a deal that, you know, for $69.99 you get 8 gigs. But those are unidentical to my current RAMs. And uh, I want it to run in dual channel. And the only way to do that is to run, or the best way to do that, the best way to guarantee that works is to have all of them, you know, the same identical modules. So, anyways, guys, that was just a quick, you know, rundown of how to install your favorite uh, memory card on your motherboard. Um, basically, the memory slots are pretty identifiable. They're these long, slim um, slots on your computer. They are unlike the PCI slots, which I'll show you. Um, I probably have to... Let me see. Let me try to... Let me get this camera off so I can show you guys where the PCI slots are. And, uh... Let me adjust this. Alright, here we go. Let me slowly move it toward the PCI position. And, alright. So, we were over there. And now we're over here. This is the graphics card. I have a GeForce 250 running um, on an Asus motherboard. And this is my other PCI Express opening. You see that light bluish um, slot? That's the PCI slot. And so, you know, you wouldn't be able to confuse your memory with those because these are, you know, a lot thicker and these are shorter than your memory slots. So uh, you couldn't go wrong with there. But yeah, so if you guys have any, you know, further questions, post comments or replies to this video, um, rate it, comment it, subscribe to my channel, um, and uh, add me on Facebook. So that's all for me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Uh, so uh, until next time, I'll see you on TomZane.us. Thanks.